Hi boys and girls. Um, I thought I'd pop on here and show my face to tell you that we're all here still and I hope you're all healthy and that you're well and um, you know I feel like personal connection is the most important thing in teaching so I wanted to show you that I am paying attention to what you guys are posting. I've been commenting on some of your pictures and I'm excited to see what you guys think of the Great Pottery Throwdown. Um, I wanted to take this time to tell you that um, if we're gonna be out longer than that, I don't wanna keep showing you videos of the Great Pottery Throwdown and I had a couple of ideas that I've thought of over the last week. So um, there's a couple ingredients that if you have, you should all have in your house, but if you don't, I wanted to kind of draw your attention to of a couple of things that I hope we can do over the next couple of weeks together that I'm gonna do right along with you. Um, so I wanted to give you kind of a shopping list of things that you can go and order on Amazon Prime or um, shop right from home or if you um, are allowed to venture out or if your mom and dad are allowed to venture out and get these items for you. But most of these things you should already have. Um, and there's two projects that we're gonna be doing in the next couple of weeks. Um, we're not gonna start until next week. Um, so you have a whole week to get these items. If um, there's a delay in the shop right from home, um, I know it's taking like a couple of days to do that. So most importantly is you wanna get a five pound bag of flour, okay? Um, there's two projects that we're gonna do with the flour. Um, this is probably under $2, so it's super cheap. Um, you do wanna have some sugar. One, pro one project's gonna call for um, some brown sugar. So if you wanna get brown sugar, and I'm holding up white sugar, which is probably gonna work, I don't know, but we'll try it. Um, you wanna have salt. You definitely wanna have um, a bigger container of salt and not like a small thing like this because we're gonna need a cup of salt for one of our projects. Um, you wanna have some vegetable oil, canola or corn will work fine too. Um, you wanna have baking soda. This is going to be for our two projects we're gonna be working on. Um, one project we're going to need a packet of active yeast. This is just regular, but um, if you wanna get rapid growing yeast, um, this is, you can get this in the frozen section, believe it or not, where they have like um, French fries and things like that. You want a stick of butter. This one's the tough one. This is cream of tartar. Um, it's McCormick, but I think they sell a cheaper version of it. Um, Bedaya is the brand. And then optional is food coloring, okay? So we're gonna do two projects over the next two weeks if you can get these items. Um, you could probably live without the, yogurt, um, the butter, but the other things you're definitely going to need. Oh, and you're gonna need an egg, okay? So, um, check in with me uh, next week. Continue to do the Great Pottery Assignments. Um, there's one below here. I will post all of this um, below the list of ingredients. I'll post um, in Canvas as well. And I don't know, I think this will be fun. So hopefully it's a little bit of a break from the computer for you and you can record your results and in the meantime, maybe I'll look into a way that we can all kind of share our results with each other so that we're still working together as a class, okay? Um, I hope that you guys are all healthy and that you continue to stay healthy and that your families are healthy. And if anyone in your family works at a supermarket, works um, in the medical field, uh, please let them know that we appreciate them so much and the Austin Dorp family says thank you um, and hopefully we're all going to get through this and we'll get to see each other before the end of the school year and that this isn't how we end things. Okay so I will chime back on next week with our first assignment and keep on thinking about clay. Bye!